Okay, 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 and here we are at the start of the 35th Bro Drill Cup. Really looking forward to uh, this uh, tournament since we have a lot of participants today, so it will definitely be awesome, I'm sure. So here we go. The first match will be Nazuki against Moryu-san. So Moryu-san, everybody knows Moryu. And we don't have the game sound, so I'm just gonna... Change it real quick. And here we go, a quick first round by Moryu. Okay, here we go. Sorry if I don't comment that real quick, but quick first round by Moryu. Definitely not losing any time and just really just heading straight in the uh, in the thick of it. Red sus, red sus over paradise. Konbanwa, Mugi-san. Okay, here we go. And... Everything's okay now. Sorry for the wait. I'm really sorry for the wait. I uh, should have checked a little bit more my audio before starting the uh, the tournament, but right now everything seems to be perfect. So here we go. Big counter hit by uh, Moryu-san. Oh, and another big counter hit exactly by Claudio Moryu-san. And right now, and right now, uh, Nazuki is looking to be in a really, really dire straight. Doesn't have any uh, burst to get out of this onslaught. And here we go, the Rainwater by Moryu-san again, finds its mark and can find the conversion. Very nice stuff from Moryu. Doing a really good job of containing Nazuki and preventing him from getting out of the corner. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the confirm right there on his uh, aerial onslaught. Very nice tick throw though. And just like this, Moryu-san takes the uh, second round as well. That was extremely, extremely violent from him. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see if uh, if uh, Nazuki is going to be able to find adjustments and uh, eventually reverse the uh, well the momentum that is entirely in favor of uh, Moryu as of now. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm happy that my uh, I'm happy that my uh, <laughs> I'm happy that my song request function is uh, is having so much. Uh, so much success. Okay, here we go. The big, a very big command grab right there from Moryu-san. Forces the burst and the air to air. Even went to try to have a Axel Bumber fin finish on this aerial conversion, but unfortunately was a little bit too far to convert off of it. Very nice recognition of the counter hit right there from Moryu. He gets the optimal combo, wasn't able to get the final uh, wall splat, but still it was more than enough to take the win. And just like this, we are on game match. Very quick snail from Moryu. Moryu being extremely aggressive, man. Extremely aggressive as always. It's always a pleasure to see him play. And here we go. Moryu tried, oh my lord, really everywhere. Not letting one second for Nazuki to actually... Oh, and the... Oh, and the freaking perfect... I guess Murasaki Megura. This is going to be an international uh, fight. It's going to be pretty... I can look perfect, Megura-san. Thank you. Okay, here we go. So, this match is gonna oppose Hatake san, so Yumegi san against Megu san. Hatake san is an organizer of a tournament just like me. He organizes this tournament each Sunday. I highly recommend you to check him out. Uh, he has a very, very, very nice, uh, nice channel. By the way, you can check his. Uh, you can check his uh, what's it called his channel right over here. Uh, what the hell? Not again. There we go. No, there's no one. Okay, here we go. S O D U M E G. Yeah. 
Yeah, here we go. So you should check his channel. He organizes a um, a tournament every Sunday, and uh, yeah, definitely his the, the level of his tournament is very very interesting because you have lots of extremely strong uh, strong people who participate to it. Okay, what's going on? Neil, you're gone. Okay, and the first oh damn it, uh, the first one goes to actually Murasaki. Made you extremely well done. Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay. I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. My bad, my bad. Here you go. I'm dumb, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, here we go. On to the second battle. Here we go. Yeah, the first one went to Murasaki Megu in an extremely convincing fashion. Let's see how the second match unfolds. Trust me when I say that Yumegiwa is an extremely uh, potent, I say we can say. Uh, an extremely um, strong Milia player. So it wouldn't surprise me if he finds uh, adaptation right... Okay, perfect. If he finds um, if he finds like a strategy to reverse the momentum right away, we shall see how it goes. Mm. For now, I have to say that yeah, probably the momentum is mostly yeah, definitely mostly in his favor. Actually, was able to find some sort of uh, was able to find uh, yeah um, answers to the pressure of Megu and just resorting to uh, well, basically mixing left and right, he was able to take the first round of this match here. Let's see how this continues. Okay, here we go with Yumegiwa definitely making a very good job of trying to be as uh, filmsy, not filmsy, but as slippery as possible. But yeah, Megu is doing a good job of not getting, uh, of not getting, uh, what's it called, of not getting a uh, landing on right there. And here we go, the throw mixes from... Hatake finds a way to open him by going behind him. He went for the again the overhead and this should do actually No! He drops it! No! No! Hatake san nobody! <laughs> You're always uh, almost there! Almost there as you know, yeah, as you know, Milia doesn't have a lot of health, so if he got open right there, it wouldn't be surprising if he lost more than half of his health. But good stuff, good stuff. Motorboat. <laughs> exactly. Motorboat. Uh, hopefully I didn't pass one of your songs. Uh, like previously, I'm really sorry if I did. Uh, I think I didn't though, but hopefully I didn't. Uh, maybe I did actually. I might have passed the song. I'm really sorry. I didn't recognize that it was on because I had this source of audio uh, cut. And if you want me to put it back, just put your link. I'll put it right after this one. And you won't have to pay any points, by the way. Whoever put it, I don't remember who it was. Uh oh. Ah, connection has lost. Yay, here we go. The beauty. <laughs> here we go. Okay, Megu-san is gonna have to. Uh, it's cool, don't worry about it. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm really sorry. Uh, I can refund your points though, which I'm going to do. I'm gonna refund you one point because I uh, well, because I kind of skipped your song. I'm gonna refund your point. Uh, where is it? On request. Yeah, it was you. Definitely was you. So here we go. Boom. And just like this, I refunded uh, one song. <laughs> oh, what's the code? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The code is here. You can also check on your um, on your Tonomel chat, uh, Murasaki Megu. I sent it over there as well. You're really welcome, big big gun, but gungas, <laughs> big gun, big gun. I'm gonna call you. Should have listened to Kai as he does say, "Fix the lobby." Exactly, man. It's crazy. Hopefully, with the new update. All of these pesky lobby issues will be uh, solved, but yeah, I, I don't really know. But you know what? I'm still happy because at least Arc System uh, shows commitment in um, implementing as many features that players actually want as they have re requested. Because you see, uh, players have uh, whined about not having rollback. They got rollback. They whined about not having crossplay. They're gonna get crossplay. And yeah, it's just um, any souls left in the tournament? I don't. I'm not quite sure actually. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. There might be a couple of them, I think, but we haven't uh, yet. I have. There are a lot of new players today, so I'm not quite sure if uh, among these new players there are Saul players. But probably they are. <laughs> Just my intuition. I believe that there might be. Yeah, probably. There's definitely not going to Yuki though. Yo, ça va bien, Tari? Comment vas-tu, gros? T'as vu le prochain perso, c'est Axel, mais on va changer. Ah ouais, du coup. Ça m'a pas donné trop de trop de vibe d'Axel, moi personnellement, personnellement, testament. Mais euh, non, carrément, euh, Testament, ça va être un personnage que je pense va être extrêmement intéressant à jouer. Et je vais la jouer, moi. Enfin, le jouer, la jouer. Y est le jouer. 
Testament looks super easy from the... Yeah, definitely. Exactly. And I'm definitely going to give her a uh, go. I'm definitely planning to give her a go. It's, uh, she, they, they seem extremely interesting. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna give a go to, to them. Okay, and here we go, just like this with the start of the round. Hataki really doing a good job of mixing his offense, just going there straight, grabbing overheads, uh, cross up everything in the book. Holy it, all that mix and just die, exactly. Too much schmix to live. <laughs> Too soft to live. <laughs> and here we go, the big close S from Megu, and just like this, Megu's gonna take it, damn! Ladies and gentlemen, this match is actually extremely close though, but Megu, yeah, being extremely decisive this time around, just manages to take it from, from Hatake. The level of play tonight is extremely high, extremely high, and I'm really, really glad that we're capable of witnessing such, um, such, uh, such beautiful matches between them. But yeah, man, that, you know, uh, Melia is definitely the mix queen, so yeah, you cannot, you can never really counter out, I think. And uh, yeah, and Hatake is actually Yumegiwa, I mean, but his name is also Hatake, is an extremely good uh, Melia player. I wouldn't be surprised if he finds a way to reverse the, the, uh, the momentum right away and just manages to take it, but we'll be seeing this. Hopefully, we won't get a connection error, and I think we're bound to get a connection error right now. Ah, uh, this looks like a connection area. Ah, my lord. Ah, this this game, man. This game. <laughs> this game, man. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. The connection of this game is really uncanny. It's crazy. And here we go. Yeah, I think I need to show Megu the room ID again. Hmm. <clears throat> here we go. Yeah, I know, man. Megu, I perfectly know. I know. It's really unnerving, right? It's crazy. I don't understand how they are so unstable. It's crazy. <laughs> JFC. Jesus freaking Christ. <laughs> this is the safe forward version, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, man, it's crazy. I really hope they uh, solve this problem as soon as possible, man. It's really crazy. Oh, that's a nice song right there. Oh, Gameto. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's my backup playlist, yeah. Okay, here we go. Just like this. Let's see if we can play the freaking... Hopefully we'll be able to, to to get all of these matches like one after the other and not have any connection errors anymore, but yeah, I'm not too... Come on, please play, please, please play nice, please, come on, come on, yes, oh my lord, <laughs> okay, here we go, on to the next battle, so here we go with Hataki going to the air and finding an opening, unfortunately for him, well, uh, he wasn't able to recognize that he had the opening, he probably went... Okay, yeah, here we go, a big counter hit right there, and Hataki was able to get the full, almost full conversion. Not quite the follow-up, but here we go, yeah, Hataki going right in there, man. Oh, and the air maneuvers from Hataki, very nicely done. He goes for the um, temple mix in front, this time around, and takes it with a perfect... That was a statement right there from Hataki. Let's see uh, if there will be... Any adjustment from Megu, and here we go, big opening from Megu going for the... Oh, managed to bait the burst, this is huge, Hataki right there, and really dire straight, doesn't have his burst, and Megu is, a, is really just seconds away from getting back. Here we go with the, um, the Ram Slam, as I like to call it. <laughs> Megu managed to take it, and here we are on match point, if Hataki loses this one, he will be sent to the losers, let's see if, uh, if... He'll be able to take it, a very nice jump back from Megu, wasn't able to quite get the... Oh, here we go, no Ram Slam. Megu loves to go with Ram Slam right after burst, and here we go with the 6P and the delayed Rekka, and here we go, Hatake is in prison, you are going to take my my pressure, and here we go with Megu trying, resorting to... Oh, no, she actually could have taken it, and here we go, Hatake managed to slip in a very nice grab, and here we go, oh, and the... Big anti right there, he's gonna get a wall break, it's not gonna kill though. Here we go, I think Mego is gonna go with the, well, the Ram Slam, Ram Slam, Ram Slam, Ram Slam, here we go, went for the Ram Slam. I know Megu, I know you, and <laughs> here we go with Megu and the grab for the win, very nicely done by Megu. Okie dokie, and here we go for the next battle, it's gonna be Zeej Singapore against Bex Japan. I didn't get uh, to see who Bex plays, he plays, oh, but here you go. Somebody asked me if there were any souls left. Yes, there is. <laughs> here we go with Zeej and the big star of the of the round. Immediately to Bex right in the corner. And here we go. Really Bex 
already in the corner. Oh, made a smart choice of not using his burst yet. There we go, the 4S for the whiff punish, but unfortunately it was a little bit too far for the uh, for the uh, well for the conversion. Just like the Zeej manages to put to slip just one normal in between the block strings, in between the hit strings of Bex and managed to take it with a wall break. Oh, here we go with Zeej. Zeej just, man, just maneuvering, just fukioing like all through the screen, just following right next after Bex. And here we go with Bex resorting to using the standing K in between the uh, offense. Okay, here we go, Zeej with the fart. Five HS. Ooh, the big bandit. Oh, he found the opening and even managed to, uh, to punish the uh the tech att attempt from Zeej. But here we go back in the neutral and Vex is running straight in the 5 HS of uh of Naguriyuki and just like this with the whiff punish, Zeej manages to put one on the board. 1-0 is definitely not over till it's over. There are, were some good things that Vex did. Definitely uh have the cojones to press uh 5k in between the block string uh, the uh, the offense of Zeej and you find the perfect uh, timing sometimes not all the times but sometimes so it's definitely there's ground for him to uh, to, uh, to 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 well to basically find uh, a way to um, well, to 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 open his opponent up basically so we'll see we'll see it's not over till it's over then. one for Zeej for the time being and just like this same start of the round by Zeej. <laughs> Zeej loves them Beyblades, he really loves them a lot. And here we go with Bix, wakes up with the 5k once again. Okay, here we go this time around, he sees the Fukio from Zeej, he lets the DP rip, but unfortunately for him, Zeej actually managed to Fukio out and not in. And just, wow, the big conversion on the... My lord, did you see the conversion on this 2HS, man? Juggling man, Zeej be juggling and just like this he takes it and here we go with Zeej with the starter with the DP and the follow-up just in case and manage to open him up. Uh, and here we go again with the Beyblade. Zeej not afraid. Well actually he shouldn't be afraid because it's safe, <laughs> of course. <laughs> here we go with Bex getting a little bit unnerved right there. Managed to find an opening. Oh when Zeej just waking up with the <laughs> See, it's waking up with the command grab. Why? Why would you do this? But it worked. That's the worst part of it. It actually worked, man. Zeed wakes up with the command grab. <laughs> yeah, my... Okay, I think that what he wanted to do, basically... Well, he basically read that uh, Bex was possibly going for a throw. And I think that the command grab of Nagoriki has invincibility frames uh, on throws. Throw invincibility, I think. So that means that... His um, command throw has priority since effectively it cannot be thrown while throwing it even on wake up. So that's probably what Zeej was looking for. It worked really, really well for him. And here we go, Bex just having just having enough of it, just letting the DP rip. But Zeej definitely not want to get intimidated. Very nice uh, reads from Bex of knowing that Zeej was going to backdash and just runs right after him and uh, puts a big 4S in his face. And here we go with Bex and the Roman cancel into the, uh, the wild throw. And here we go, Bex finally manages to take one round. Very well done by Bex. Okay, moving on to the second duel. Here it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna check the brackets real quick to see if everything is going according to K costly. Let's see. I have okay Tim up against the water and Hokemon versus Atem again. Okay, good. Okay, good. Everything going fine, guys. Everything going fine. And here we go, the big banded revolver right there from Bex. Roman cancelled it and he's on the verge of taking it, but finally forces the burst upon Zeej. Here we go with Bex and the gun flew. Oh, wasn't able to get the follow him. Here we go, two trades in a row. ZG is on the verge of getting killed and very nice Fukia. That was so crazy. He's not gonna take it. Is, he, is, he, is it gonna be enough? That was a sick. Oh no, too far. And Bex didn't believe in it. Bex didn't believe in it, but it's still okay for him. Oh, that was clutch, man. If I've ever seen one clutch round, this definitely was one. Damn, uh, Zeej, he was so close. I think would have killed also. This is really unfortunate for him, but it's more entertaining for us. For uh, so I'm definitely not going to, I'm not going to complain at all. I was about to say it kills and then it whiffs. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I also didn't think it would whiff, and I think he was relatively quick in inputting his uh, 
his overdrive, you know? So I really don't understand why it actually whiffed. I'd need to watch the replay once more afterwards. But yeah, that was crazy, man. Crazy clutch. Well played by Bex, though. Uh, not throwing the controller down, even though, uh, well, he probably was on the bridge of getting killed by like one or two frames. So yeah, good stuff from Bex to believe it until the end. He managed to bring it back. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Zeech definitely a little bit unnerved that his, uh, well, his uh, overdrive didn't kill. Very nice conversion. Well, very nice um, confirmed from Bex. It's probably not good. Oh, he actually bit. What? He let the burst uh, rip this. I don't agree. <laughs> but it's okay. It's his it's choice. But he starts the... Uh, second round with absolutely no burst. This is gonna be a very, very tight situation for Bex. Hopefully for him, he knows what he's doing. Okay, here we go. The big, the big opening on the far S right there. Encounter it. And Zeej not afraid of using the command grab. Man, here we go. He goes for the follow-up of the DP. And again, the Beyblade. But Bex is definitely not one to be intimidated. Just wakes up with the standing K. Oh, and he had it, the far S right there, but he just didn't believe in it. You need to believe. You need to do like paparapa, paparapa. You need to believe, man. And here we go with oh no, a mistimed up down. Um, uh, oh, and here we go. He should be able to take no. It's so unfortunate. You could have went for anything else in this a real combo. You don't want Siege to be alive. And very nice too, as though very nicely done by Bex. Definitely not letting his nerve get the best out of him. Very nicely done. Here we go with Siege again, the Beyblade counter hit for the freaking conversion, very nicely done, he has Bex exactly where he wants again, the Beyblade, and this is gonna be huge, forces the burst, finally, it's not over till it's over though, oh no, the Funky got baited, and just like this, Siege takes it with a perfect, that was a huge statement by an answer for everything, unfortunately, but anyways, that being said, no problem again, Japanese, but Taiwan and Korea might be... Okay, okay, I see. So here we go on to the next battle. It's going to be Atemu. Oh, Atemu. I think he participated to last Brojo Cup, and he was, well, Nago Yuki Korea, as you can um, obviously see. And Hakuman, you know, our Biken user, or probably the uh, player who has participated to the most to the Brojo Cup on Potel today. He was a Giovanna player, now he is a Biken player. Very good one at that. So really looking forward to this samurai battle today. Let's see how it goes. So Nagori Yuki Atemu against Baikin Hakuman. Here we go. Here we go. Very quick start of the round. Very nice 6 speed by Atemu. And then you cannot, you cannot jump on this man. Very nice 6, uh, 2 HS right there from Hakuman. Could find the feet of Nagori Yuki. And again, the 6 speed from Atemu. Atemu is really good. You cannot jump on this man. You cannot. It's just impossible. Here we go to Kabari. Okay, back to neutral. Both uh, players uh, and characters actually have very good tools to uh, hit their opponent extremely far. Hakuman san gambare, here we go. The uh, um, the ON for Hakuman, it warms my heart. I really like to see it. Here we go with the Tautami guy. She's going to break the wall. Oh, and the forward Roman cancel from Atemu just to check what Hakuman was about to do. Oh, and here we go with the toe. That was genius. The use of the aerial overdrive from Hakuman to punish the punish it and from Atemu actually very nicely done by Hakuman. Here we go, a big Kabari right there uses the uh, Tatami guy. She has an Okizeme, eh, but yeah, Atemu definitely collected. Very nicely done by him. Here we go, the Kabari again, and the Tatami guy. She to try to frame trap him worked really well. Here we go with the follow up of the. Kabari, oh, and the toe, oh, the toe, oh, my lord, he made it, it's so good, and the 2k on the ground for the kill, well done by Hakuman, takes the first match, very strong start from our home Hakuman, very nicely done, let's see if he can keep the pace going, very nicely done by him, as expected from our Hakuman, man. or you cannot discount this beast, man, <laughs> anyways, here we go. On to the next battle, but still, uh, uh, Atemu definitely didn't say his last words. Definitely, I'm looking forward to what uh, type of adjustment he will be bringing to the table. And I'm happy to see that my song request feature is being so used right now. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> okay, here we go. The jumping S by Hakuman. Here we go. Has the counter hit, but couldn't get the follow up. Unfortunately, delayed a little bit too much. Here we go. Atemu going to the air. Punish the uh, 2HS attempt from Hakuman. He's gonna get a huge combo. This is death? Yeah, this is death. Well played for Matemu. 
responds in um, adequate fashion right there. Very nicely done. I wish more channels had it. Yeah, man. Song request is such a nice feature. I really freaking love it. You can even catch Pokemons on this uh, on this channel, man. And here we go. The close to as oh two four to connect with the six H as is unfortunate. Could not add song. Internal server error. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And just like I say this. Okay. What what is this? Enslaves glory. Put them can sting. How come? Let me. Can I catch uh, Garf? Ah, uh, you have to try to catch him. Let me let, let me help you, uh, Ayubi. Okay, this is strange. So it is enslaves glory. Put them can. Okay, let, let me check it for you. I'm gonna check it for you. Try to find a different. I'm I'm gonna refund your uh, your points. Uh, your points, I I Ayubi. Try to find a different link because uh, some uh, the songs are not available because they're uh, they are how do you call? It? They are um, their zone basically. Needs roll back. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly this. So let me check in slaves uh, glory. Put them team. Let me open it up real quick. Why can't I read it? Uh, in slave glory. Okay, let's see. There you go. Yeah, this should do, I think. Yeah, this should do. Okay, so hopefully this one will work. We'll see. Damn it. Not bad. Hey, come here. That should do, I think. Okay. Is, is this the correct one? I I I Yubi. I hope it's gonna be okay. I hope that that's the one you wanted. <clears throat> okay, here we go with Hakuman definitely bringing the heat, man. He wants this win and he's doing a very good job at trying to secure it even though. I'm gonna steal these combos. Yeah, you have to, man. Oh, and here we go. The big close S from Atemu manages to to hit uh, Hakuman out of the air. Very nicely done by Atemu. He has Hakuman right where he wants it. His blade is definitely proving to be a little bit more violent than it was during the first match. Looks good to me. That's good. Good to hear. Thanks. Looks good to me. I have the perfect the perfect emoji to illustrate this. Looks good to me. Here we go. I'm gonna put it right here. And here we go to wake up. The wake up overdrive by Hakuman. He forces the burst. Okay, it's really anybody's game right there. Yeah, Hakuman needs to definitely be. Oh, and the 2HS for the win. Very, very clutch. He clutches it out. And near songs, man. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with near songs, man. Near songs are uh, OD. <laughs> They're OD, man. And here we go with the burst. Oh, and unfortunate for Atemu. He is. Oh, yeah, that, this is gonna hurt. Is this death? Oh, no, this is not death, actually. Okay, but yeah, Atemu definitely on his last legs right there. He has to... Uh, he has to make something happen. Oh, my lord! That was unfortunate. Uh, what's going on? That's, this is strange, yeah. Could not add some internal server error? What the hell does that even mean? And just like this, uh, Hakuman puts another one on the board. Let me see if I can add it but on from my side. Uh... Um, Burr nom nom. I'm gonna see if I get. Okay, it's this one, right? So red the fire, with the gear. Okay, sometimes you just need to. Okay, we're good. So let's see if it works. Perfect. <laughs> I'm adding everything manually. <laughs> okay, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. This should do. And yeah, back to the match. As you can see, Atemu doing a very strong start of the uh, of the round right there. Almost already just in one combo managed to take half of Hakuman's life off right there. Very nice check from Atemu right there with the 2k. And even used the uh, command grab in order to dip, to beat the uh, wake up counter right there. Oh my lord, the, this, this trade was pretty dope. Look, here we go. Oh, and Hakuman hits him with the far... Well, the uh, the jumping S right there. Very nicely done. Wake... Okay, here we go. The Tatami Gaishi. Oh, my lord. Hakuman is everywhere. <laughs> He's all over the place, man. Yeah, but you cannot discount uh, Atemu out, though. Definitely ah, a lot more. You're welcome, Bernal, man. And here we go. The close S. This is going to be a huge... Oh, my lord. The burst punish by Atemu manages to put one on the board as well. Really nicely done. Okay, here we go. Just one second, please. 
I think we're good. Yeah. I'm not being called anywhere. This is perfect. And uh, yeah, uh, just like this, we are at 1-2-2 two, two for Hakuman. Atemu needs to win uh, two matches in a row if he wants to not get sent to the loser's bracket. So let's see how it goes. Hakuman currently has a lead, but it's definitely not out of the question that he uh, well, gets uh, red completely by Atemu. Atemu, a very good player, by the way. There we go, very early start of the run by Hakuman already. Oh, but he missed time his offense and got grabbed by Atemu right on the wake up. Okay, here we go, the big 2S counter hit and he even based the burst is gonna be huge damage. Right oh, and the missed time counter. You live by the counter, you die by the counter. Hakuman, you need to be careful of your usage. And just like this, Atemu on the verge of. Um, of uh, basically uh, bringing it back actually, yeah. Here we go, the big 6HS on the ground. Very nice standing S right there from Hakuman. Okay, and here we go with the Tatami Gaishi onslaught. But Atemu knows this mix very nicely done. Here we go, the Kabari and just punishes him by grabbing it really nicely done. This is gonna do a lot of damage. This is death actually, I think. This is probably death actually. The sound of the end. Here we go, the Wasude Yuki, boom! Very nicely done by Atemu. And just like this, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. This match is going to be Naz versus Tim, so Philippines against Taiwan. I really hope that the connection is going to be okay. Because these are uh, two very far countries, we'll see how it goes. Okay, for now it seems okay. Yeah, it seems pretty okay for now. Okay, next nice, nice. So far so good, very big to the counter hit right there from Timko, he even finds the... Oh, the conversion just like this, the start of the round. Nas loses half of his life already, man. That was big, but here we go. We are in... Uh, we are in... We are in uh, zoning mode right there. Nas really doing a good job of uh, using the... Um, using the command grab, actually. With this, is going to get additional damage right there. Very nice damage, he's gonna get the positive bonus, but yeah, Timco has two bars of tension though. This is gonna be pretty hard for him. Down to Shitsu. Ah ouais? Comment ça? Comment ça? J'ai pas de soucis là, je suis en train de me monitorer, j'ai l'impression que tout va bien. Ok, ok, j'ai peur. Ok, and here we go, just like this. Ah, si, y'a pas de soucis, pas de soucis. And uh, just like this, actually, Tinko manages to take the first round. Very well done by him. He gets the knockdown. Let's see how Tinko will find his way in. Very big jump in right there. Got the counter hit. Again, another counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. And the wake up overdrive by Nas is going to hit. It's marked very nicely done. Here we go. He has the exact positioning that he wants. And the big 2S counter hit. Oh, and the rainwater and nothing and yet. And just like this, he gets the chip kill. Very nicely done by Nas. Good stuff by him. Okay, here we go. The rainwater doesn't hit its mark. Timko really struggling to actually get in, but very nice conversion. He even gets the the burst bait. That was extremely well played. He gets the side switch too. I do believe this was not wanted. This was not intended, but unfortunately for him, it actually is what happened right there. Oh, and oh my lord, just letting it rip, man. Very nicely done by Nas. I think he really didn't have another choice. It hit it smart. Okay, here we go. Oh, Nas going for the command grab. That was really cheeky, actually. Oh, and the two HS raids with the aerial attack from Timco. Here we go with the flip kick of Timco. But yeah, Nas doing a good job just pushing Timco away, man. And here we go, the aerial onslaught. Here we go, Timco definitely does not want to lose this opportunity. Very nice conversion. He's gonna get the kill. Nicely done by Timco. Puts one on the board. Good stuff by him. Here we go, first match. That was an explosive one, by the way. Damn, man, seriously. But Nas doing a good job of really just pushing ever so slightly Timco out of his face. I don't know how he manages to do it so consistently, by the way. So, no, good stuff by both players. Uh, Timco did have the edge on this one though, but it's still not over till it's over. So, here we go. I'm just gonna confirm. Has been confirmed. Okay, we're good. This is good. Okay. Well, everything is going actually according to Keikaku. So, I'm really. Uh oh. Fatal error? What the hell? Oh, uh, what the hell? Uh, once again, I have a error. Uh, I had an error. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why my uh, game. Sorry, guys. Um. I had a fatal error? 
I don't know why. This is actually strange. Let me, uh, let me start the game again. Sorry. I don't know why this happened. Just give me one second. I had a fatal error for some reason. I do not know why. This is strange. Uh, yeah. Cosmic Graves. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what the hell was that? That's the first time I actually have this. One more win. I don't know what happened, guys. I hope it's not something that's going to be recurring. Because it's the first time I have it. Fatal Error. Have you guys ever had a Fatal Error? Before? In this game? That is. This is actually really not good. <laughs> uh, just one second. Okay, we should be good. Okay, let's uh, see. Okay, I'm gonna redo the... Uh, I'm gonna redo the... Uh, not view? Okay, this is strange. Yeah, I really don't like this. I hope it's not gonna be recurring. If it's the case, it's uh, gonna be actually pretty bad. One more win. I want to see you in top 8. Very nice support for Hakuman right there. Okay, let's see. I have fatal errors quite often because my PC is bad, so Strife crashes on certain stages. It, really? That's strange. It never crashed up until now, so I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit sad, actually. Okay, let me uh, update. Fail to connect your room. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry, don't worry. Just one second. Give me one second, please. Uh, where is it? Let me update the ID, and then we're good to go. Oh, this is not good at all, actually. This. Okay, zero R. Okay, here we go. So this is the new ID. Let me send it to everybody. Okay, sorry. This sucks. I mean, this really sucks. Here you go. So Tim took the first one, yeah, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, we're good. I really hope it's not gonna be a recurring problem. Because, uh, yeah, that's the first time it actually happens to me. And I do not have a bad computer. <laughs> definitely not by a long... by a... Yeah, I definitely have a pretty, pretty beefy one, so... I hope it's not gonna be a recurring problem, hopefully. Or maybe I might need to stop using uh, uh, stop using filters on my on my camera. Maybe that might be uh, something I might need to consider eventually, which is going to be sad because I love my filters. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. Again, okay, we go on to the next battle. <clears throat> okay, very. Uh, oh, here we go with Timko really try. Oh my lord, that big 2S counter hit right there from Mass. Oh, finds even the conversion. They're just noticing that Timko was going to jump on him and uses the follow up uh, of the. Uh, how do you call it? Senlenjiki? Senlenjiki? Yeah, I think Senlenjiki. I'm not quite sure. I forgot. Anyways, there we go. The waterfall, the, the rainwater, I'm sorry, for the. Uh, counter hit with the follow up by Nas. Oh my lord, and Tinko just doing a triple dash in front of him just to close the distance as soon as possible. Here we go again. The Sen. It's Senden Mikia. Okay. And here. Oh lord, man, this far S counter hit has been doing wonders for him, I think. Oh my lord, and the counter overdrive for the punish. Look at the life melting from Nas, man. And that was a very, very nice punish from Timko. Very adequate. He might have killed if he decided to jump over the the first, uh, the second hit of the uh, the overdrive. It might have been a little bit better and just do a full combo. And just like this, actually, Nas manages to take it. Very nicely done by him. Puts one on the board. Okay. Very nicely done by Nas. Good stuff. Okay, puts one on the board as well. We are at one matches apiece. Let's we'll see if uh, Tim can actually find some, you know, answers or some um, adjustments in order to deal with uh, the adjustments that Nas has himself brought to the table. So we'll see how it goes. This song is 100% based on Judas Priest song. Ah, it's definitely possible. Oh my lord, and Timko just going over, man. The follow-up of the Senen Giki of, uh, of Nas. Here we go, the cannon drill. Doesn't find his hit, Smartville. Oh, and Nas, man. 
uh, the one that's playing right now. So that is the Ride the Fire. Oh, and here we go with the 2S from Nas, man. Ah, and again, the standing S. This hurts so freaking much. It reminds me a bit of Dragonaut from uh, by Judas Priest. Oh yeah, I can I can see I can see the uh, I can see the resemblance at point. And here we go to Ventania for the win by Timco. Really well done. Just like this takes the lead. Well, round wise that is. So not that big of a read. Okay, Rainwater hit its mark. Okay, here we go to San Lindiki again. Okay, very nicely done by Tim. Go find the aerial approach. Oh my lord, here we go. Now it's going for the big, big boy combos right there. Oh, he tried to go for the for the grab, but yeah, Timco noticing it and just backdashing and punishing him accordingly. Now it's definitely not afraid of using the Senden Oh, and just, this, I, will, I do believe this was a throw bait right there. Very nicely done by uh, by Nas. The shimmy. <laughs> it was a shimmy. Oh! And Nas just throwing, throwing 2Ds like this, man. So crazy. The okay, Timco in the corner this time around has to deal with the pressure. Oh, and the aerial approach from Timco, man. Yeah, Nas just not afraid of pressing buttons, man. Definitely not afraid. Okay, here we go to close S and D. Oh, is this going to kill? This is going to kill. Well done by Timco. Puts another one on the border. 2-1 to one for Timco. Let's see if there will be some adjustments from Nas. Hopefully he will. But it's still definitely not over until it's over. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, we're good. So on to the next battle. Is Naz going to find the necessary adjustment and apply them in due time in order to bring it back? Because now Timco is in the lead. Okay, here we go. The oh, and again the 2S counter hit from Timco. This did a lot actually. That forced immediately the burst from Naz. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, Timco trying to find his way ever so slightly. Close to Nas. Oh, the rainwater counter hit. He's gonna get the follow up. Ah. Here we go. Nas is back to the corner. And this should actually do. Yeah, Timco cannot do anything about this. He has to take it. Okay, unfortunately for him, he wasn't close enough to the corner for Nas to uh, well, get the killing blow. This is very fortunate for. Nas, uh, but unfortunate for Timko. Oh, and the big jump in from Timko. This is a lot of damage, but even more so. Help for Timko to get the corner carry, but yeah, Nas managed to find his way out of the corner, and here we go, the big shimmy, if I may say. So, oh, and this should actually hit. Yeah, this is gonna hit. Very nicely done by Nas. Yeah, the first hit of the overdrive does hit uh, people in the air. Oh lord, hey, here we go to triple aerial attack right there. Oh, and just in time for Tinko to let the overdrive, aerial overdrive rip and hit Nas out of whatever he was trying to, well, uh, out of his recovery frames actually. Oh, and immediate burst by Nas. He definitely wants this. This round, yeah, he definitely wants it. And the, oh, the cannon drop for the win. Well played by Tinko, not afraid of letting this rip. Okay, here we go. Four jumping S. Well, the jumping uh, HS. Right? Oh, almost got the. Key. Oh, Lord, here we go. Yeah, Tinko catching Nas, pressing buttons in between his block strings. Very nice punish from Tinko. Here we go. Nas on his last legs right now. If he. Okay, here we go. He wins the Clash War right there. He couldn't quite get the. Wake up, though. This is really unfortunate for him. This was his uh, his opportunity. Unfortunately, he gets jumped on. Tim Cole might actually seal the deal. Here we go. Yeah, this is gonna do. Well played by Tim Cole. Takes it three to one. A very convincing siege against Atemu. Okay, so Singapore against Japan. International fight we have today.
Yeah, so first round, here we go. First match, actually, in first round. Okay, so Zed rocking the red Nagori Yuki, whereas Atomi rocking the, uh, I would say, the gray. Yeah, Nagori Yuki, Atomi currently with the pressure uh, advantage. But yeah, Zed finding his way out of the corner, managing to push Atomi. Oh my lord, and just throwing the. Like, <laughs> throwing the Beyblade in between the block string of, uh, of Atomi and still managed to. Let's yeah, find an opening. Very nice 5 HS counter hit right there. A little ton of damage. Actually, Atemu oh, could have probably taken it if he managed to juggle correctly. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, Atemu with the whiff on it. Well, the uh, the, four, the the 2K right there. Here we go with Zeej with the advantage, the positional advantage. But honestly, this could go any way. One hit for the kill. Oh, here we go with Atemu with the surprise QQ into the grab. Well played by Atene. Managed to take the first round. Okay, here we go. Big, long bait lead from Atene. A little bit too far to uh, get anything going though. And Z just recognizing that his 2S actually found a hit. But Atene responding in the, uh, adequate fashion right there. Puts Z in the corner. He's probably gonna get... No, no well right there. Here we go. Z trying to uh, really fend off. Trying to put some distance between Atene and himself. Actually, uh, successfully managed to um, push Atemu in the corner this time around. Here we go, the trade on the 2S. Oh, Atemu not afraid of letting the command grab rip right after the Beyblade, the double to standing K into. Oh, almost the death count, the, the, the death combo that was. He probably should have invested a little bit on the uh, Roman cancel right there. Okay, the 4 H's, and finally the chip kill for Atemu manages to seal the deal on this uh, current match. Very well done by him. He takes the first match. Good stuff. So Atemu manages to get the first win. Let's see if uh, ZJ is going to be able to bring some adjustments and uh, reverse this momentum that is currently all in Atemu's favor. Well, not completely still. It's definitely not completely one-sided, but yeah, ZJ is definitely going to have to work for it if he wants to put one on the board. So let's see if he's capable of doing so. But knowing him, it's probably going to be the case. It's Zeej. And here we go with the <laughs> Almost the trade on the uh, DP. Zeej being a little bit too uh, too too uh, late for it. And uh, Atomy took advantage of it. Okay, here we go Zeej trying to fish for something with the 2S right there. Again, going low because Atomy is blocking standing. Here we go, 2s, 2s, yeah, definitely searching for a whiff punish or probably trying to prevent his opponent from Fukio, uh, from Fukio and just attempting to like probably grab him or something, I suppose. Here we go with the start of the round, a DP, of course, a trademark of Nagori Yuki, if I might say. Yeah, Nagori Yuki's DP comes out extremely quick and has a very nice range. Here we go, the Beyblade, in order to force the uh, the burst from Atemu, Zij is looking pretty swell right now. He's gonna get the wall break, definitely. Ooh. Okay, he's gonna get the full animation. Is it gonna be enough? I think it's gonna be enough, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be enough. Well played by Zij, man. Oh, Lord. The perfect answer to, uh, yeah, to the, um, to the lack of momentum that he was currently suffering of. But yeah, no, very nicely done by Zij. Puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who is going to uh, to further. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go on to the third match of this encounter. Let's see how it goes. checking real quick the uh, just checking uh, others matches if everybody is currently doing their matches and we're not so everything is going pretty well right now 
Okay, on moving on to uh, the uh, potential final round of this match, but right there, just like this, Satemu actually, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, forced the uh, the blood burst, and all of his life lead just faded away in just one quick blood burst right there, and helped Aziz uh, make a comeback. Both opponent, uh, well, actually, Aziz is on the verge of getting his burst back, so really, both opponents are currently. Uh, well, on an equal standing right now, and he will go with Zij, making his way out of the corner. Oh, here we go, the 2S catches the, the Fukio. Okay, very nice choice. Oh, and the wake up overdrive by Atemu. That was, yeah, the Hail Mary right there. That cost him a lot, but uh, still, for, for, uh, fortunately for him, he had the burst. Here we go, the big wall break from Atemu, and the confirms are here, and oh, probably could have taken it off, I don't know, he probably could have taken it, but probably with the parasting, oh, it wouldn't have been possible, and here we go with the grab for the win by Atemu, takes the lead this time around, 2-1, to one. what is Zij going to do? Damn, this is one clutch match, I, I usually don't tend to like, uh, not going to keep here. But this one is actually pretty entertaining. I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty uh, happy that these two very good players have the opportunity to play against each other. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this will unfold. Is Zeej going to find the necessary adjustment or not? So here we go, start of the round with the DP by Zeej. And oh my lord, and the burst bait by Atemu. Very nice stuff right there from him. Okay, Atemu currently in the advantage, has the advantage. Keeps it in the corner. He uses the RDC, the Roman cancel, and just like this, the RDC. What the hell is RDC? <laughs> Republic, Republic Democratic of Congo. <laughs> anyway, the very big uh, RC right there from uh, Atemu gave him the win. Okay, this time around, Zij a little bit more aggressive. Definitely does not want to be sent in the loser's bracket. Finally, transferred from Zij. But yeah, Atemu just checking every single Fukio that Zij tends to do right after, um, well, after forcing the, the the blocks, you know, on Atemu. Here we go, Zij finally finding an opening. Oh, an opening! Ah, and the big damage, man. Oh my lord, and Atemu caught pressing buttons right there. Very nicely done by Zij. Okay, again the big counter. He mistimed his juggle though, and just like this, Atemu managed to, yeah, to uh, almost get out of the of the corner. And we're both opponents jumping a lot on each other, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, the Fukios are going left and right, but Atemu a little bit more aware of uh, the timing right there. Takes full use and full, takes full advantage of it. Gets the wall break, he's not gonna get the- Oh my lord, and Zij unfortunately just Fukioing right into the 2S of his opponent. Fortunately for him, he was saved by the burst, but again, Fukio right in a standing S of Gato against Bex. So, let's see how this unfolds. Nenka from Indonesia, Rex, Bex, Rex, Bex from Japan, let's see how it unfolds. So this is the loser's bracket. Oh, they're big down S right there from Bex, man. Oh my lord, and finds the opo opening with the 4H as right counter hit. Nevertheless, here we go, Bex being extremely, extremely overwhelming and violent right there. Here we go, Bex going for the low up, uh, the up down uh, mix right there, and actually managed to pull off a perfect, very nicely done by Bex. Okay, the 6 HS, the 6 before the win for the uh, punish by Renka. The Zato 6 uh, P being extremely powerful, one of the best one in the game. There we go with the grab by Bex. Oh, and very nice bag dash right there from uh, Renka. There we go, Bex not afraid of really just pressing this uh, 6 HS. This is 6 HS. Man. Okay, here we go, Renka recognizing that uh, yeah, Bex wasn't going for the follow up of the Bandit Revolver right there. Okay, oh, here we go, Bex just letting the Roman, uh, yellow Roman cancel 
to get out of the pressure. Oh my lord, Bex is just waking up with the, the, the DP right there. There we go, Lenka being extremely slippery, doesn't want to be like, uh, doesn't want to be pinned down by uh, Bex. Oh my lord, that, oh, that command grab was so well done. That mix up was so good. Well played by Renka takes the uh, second round actually. We have, okay, this is going to be the final round of the first match. Very nice grab right there by Bex, recognized it, uh, by Renka, I'm sorry, recognized that Bex was not going for the follow up of the revolver yet again. Oh, there we go, Link. Oh, this is gonna be a big. Oh, unfortunately for Bex, he couldn't quite get the juggle right there. And for the big pick attempt uh, punish right there by Bex, very nicely done. He takes the first match. But Renka doing some actual very, very nice stuff. I really liked um, uh, the, the his slipperiness, if I might say. <laughs> It was really, really well done during the first match, so I'm definitely sure it's definitely not one-sided. You can see that the first match went down to the wire. It was an extremely back-and-forth match, so let's see if uh, this continues or not. Okay, dope. On to the next battle. Okay, so on to the second match of this encounter. Let's see how. Uh, Rinka is going to bring adjustments to this, uh, to, to his performance right there. Oh, and the big bandit bringer on the down. Oh, that did a lot of damage right there. Oh my lord, and Bex just being so aware, doesn't want Rinka to get out of the corner for obvious reasons. Being extremely suffocating right now, man. There we go, Bexy on the onslaught, and just Renka has to take it and has a lot of issues just really getting Bex off of his back. Look, here we go, Renka. Okay, oh, switching up his offense a little bit, resorting to uh, to try to zone a lot more and being a lot more uh, willing to do some. Uh, Oh, okay, here we go. Dex finds the opening again. He tried to go for a shimmy, I think. And here we go. This time around, just goes for a... Oh, and even got the burst bait. This is death. Very quick second match from Bex. Man, definitely didn't like... Uh, didn't like being sent to the loser's bracket. And he's definitely showing right there. Very nice, uh, convincing fashion from Bex. It's not over yet. He still has one more uh, match to take if he wants to... Uh, well, to... Um, to continue and make his way to the losers final to eventually have a rematch against uh well actually who sent him to the losers uh, i actually forgot but anyways here we go on to the next battle okay, mankind you indeed Okay, here we go. I'm gonna switch something. Let's see if it works. Okay, here we go. We got the big bandit bringer on the way down by Dex. Here we go with the grab. Very nicely done by him. Here we go with the grab by Bex once again and with the wild throw for the win, Bex definitely doesn't want to uh, delay any, any more this match than, it nece than necessary, very nicely done. making his way ever so slightly tries to push Bex to the corner but Bex really man Bex is so slippery man and yeah the, you can see that Renka definitely has a lot of problems dealing with the, uh, the the throw timing of Bex man he's been getting thrown left and right for the past two minutes or so and here we go with the uh, the big counter hit for S and just like this Bex man they just to take it quite Duel 
Okay, so, I'm um, sorry, I'm quite sorry, I didn't see who won, it was... Dual one. I think it was Nas, <laughs> I'm sorry, I think Nas won, I'm sorry, yeah, I have to troubleshoot some things in between, I'm really sorry. Okay, and just like this, Nas actually takes it. Very nicely done by him. I do believe it's 2-2-1, two to, uh, two to one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
and the perfect for the win by Nishi, man. This is a huge statement by Nishi, definitely not going down without a fight. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> I, don't know. I had so much, uh, so many, so many issues. <laughs> and just like this, we should. <laughs> Are you doing a uh, shiho san? Welcome to the stream. Konbanwa. Okay, and here we go on to the winner's final this time around. It's going to be Tim against Atemu. Let's see how this unfolds. Nagemasu, <laughs> There we go. Timko finding the uh, counter hits actually and forces the burst onto Atemu in a rather quick fashion. Here we go with Timko resorting to using the overdrive for the kill. Very nicely done. And just like this, we're moving on to the second round. Hopefully, Atemu is going to find uh, adjustments. But he still has like one full round to try to find the adjustments. Pretty sure he's gonna find them. Anyways, just one second, let me just finish this real quick. And then I can get on to commentating <laughs> in correct fashion. I think that I haven't been doing in the past two matches correctly, to be honest. Here's where we go with again the wall splat from Timko and Atim on the verge of losing this first match. And the throw for the win by Timko. Really, really well done by him. Extremely good player, man. He has been extremely strong this uh, during this tournament. He's been strong during past tournaments as well, but never has he uh, placed that good during one of the Brojo Cup tournaments. So yeah, it's really uh, great to see him in his environment and his... Uh, you know, really at ease, really confident. Atemu definitely not out uh, yet, uh, not by a long shot, by the way. But just uh, interesting to see that Tim is definitely feeling himself and in, in his environment right now. And here we go for the second round. Is Papa Atemu going to find the necessary adjustments? We shall see. And here we go, it's a counter fest, and there has been so many counters going on. Again, a counter by Tim, an immediate front dash into the overdrive. Very well done by him. He gets the, uh, the, uh, he gets the, uh, what's it called? He gets the, um, the wall break into the win. Very nicely done. So let me check real quick the matches. And here we go with the concepts right there from. Uh, from Atemu, both players really, really fighting for their lives right now. But with Atemu with a pretty hefty life lead, here we go with Timko managed to actually enter using the 2D. Resorting to going for the air attempt, he tried to whiff punish the 6 HS attempt from Atemu. It was a little bit too late to do so. Okay, and Timko, the. Oh my lord, yeah. The pressure was definitely real. Here we go with Timko again. Just doesn't want Atemu to get to. Oh my lord, that backdash! That god backdash from Atemu. That was crazy good. Well played. Oh, here we go with Atemu immediately backdash. Well, Fukio back Fukio into the clone. And you have to eat this pressure. Yeah, still have a lot of blood before blood bursting. Very nice command grab from Atemu. He's gonna reset his blood. 
and here we go with Timko going in. Oh, and forces the burst finally from Atemu, but not Atemu with the life lead and the triple. <laughs> the triple freaking dash into the grab and the cojones on Tim, man. Well played. And the big 2D counter hit. Is he going to get the full juggle? I think. I believe he will. He actually will. He's going to get the overdrive. This is actually looking pretty good for Atemu. Not Atemu, for Tim. Is he going to go for the safe jump? He is, and this should... Ah, no, this is not going to do... Oh, my lord, he was so close to get punished by Atemu. Atemu probably surprised by the yellow burst right there from Timko. Oh, and almost got it, but Atemu, the reflexes. Oh, and the flip kick to catch the back that very well done by Timko. Puts another one on the board. I don't believe it's... Yeah, it was 2-1. Two, two, yeah. I think it was. I hope I didn't mess up. I'm pretty sure it was. Very well, well done by uh, by Atemu. Okay, and on to the next one. How is it gonna play? We shall see. Just one second, please. I'm Tim. <laughs> exactly, Tim is definitely different. Well played, Tim. Oh, here we go. The big sink right at the start of the match. Oh, and the first bait by Tim immediately punished it. He could have gotten a little bit better, uh, you know, some better stuff out of it, but it's okay. Probably was surprised. Oh, and just like this, he almost got bait bursted himself and bait punished. Oh, that big punish on the blood explosion. Very nicely done by Tim. Wins with the absolute final hit of the, the, the fully charged dust. Well played. Here we go, aerial attack, uh, the charge by Tim. Atimu, unfortunately for him, grabbed a little bit too early. If he delayed it, he would actually catch Tim's uh, forward dash. Here we go with Atimu and the 6P uh, air, um, anti air punish. Anti -air. Well played. And here we go again, the flip kick to catch the back dash has been looking extremely good for Tim. And just like this, he takes it. Man, Tim on fire tonight, man. Move on to the losers semi-final. I'm definitely going to be trying out this. Oh, definitely me too. They seem so freaking interesting, man. I've never been that uh, motivated to try out a character ever since uh, probably Baikin, I guess. Well, and Baikin just came out recently, but yeah. yeah the, I mean, before Baikin, there was no other character besides uh, Eno that I wanted to play. I'm moving to UK for a short term. So oh, okay, okay. Sorry, making you no worries, man. No worries, it's okay. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm making everything about myself. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, big to the uh, counter hit by Nishi's gonna get the wall. Oh, break up! Really couldn't get it. Very nice reflex from Bex to notice that uh, he wasn't gonna get. Oh my lord! That one hit, that one hit confirmed by Bex was crazy good. Well played. We go the bended bringer. Oh my lord, and Bex, yeah, taking into the air and trying to uh, hit Nishi out of it, by the way. Here we go, Nishi uses... Oh! Try to go for a sneaky little... Uh, a sneaky little uh, fully charged dust, but I they couldn't quite make the... Uh, the okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyways, here we go with uh, Bex. Ah, this is, ooh, and here we go with the big pressure from Nishi. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Bex doing the good. Oh my lord, that was very, very well played by Bex. Forces the burst of Nishi. Here we go, Nishi again going low, and the immediate confirm into the overdrive. He is getting the wall break. This is what he absolutely wanted to have. Well played. Yeah, but Big's definitely not out of it. He gets a combo of his own and this should do. No, unfortunately he couldn't quite get the uh, the end, the killing the killing move. This is unfortunate for him. Oh my lord, and just Ron Sante right there from Nishi. But Big's definitely holding on and uh, patient being extremely patient. Managed to take the first sorry, the first match. Very nicely done. It's definitely not over till it's over though. Aikito, merci pour le sub, ça fait vraiment très plaisir. Comment tu vas, gros? Ça fait très très plaisir. And, uh, yeah, just like this. Uh, Bex actually manages to take the first match of this uh, set right there. It's definitely not over by a long run. But that being said, 
That being said, it's definitely good for the morale. Not gonna lie. And here we go, immediate start of the round. You can see Bex trying to force his way ever so slightly to push Nishi in the corner, but upon doing so, unfortunately got grabbed by Nishi and switched places with him. With them. Oh, here we go, the Masante again. This time around, Bex aware that this was a possible outcome, but gets surprised by the fully charged dust. No burst to save you, he has to eat the damage. Oh, and you're wake up DP immediate by Bex, but fortunately for him, he had some tension bar to make it safe. Again, wake up DP, man, and Bex just going very, very deep right there. And opens Nishi up again, Masante by Nishi, but yeah, Bex definitely aware of it, man. Here we go, and just walk up, grab, and the Roman cancel into the 6 HS for the win by Bex. Bex smelling blood, man, definitely not. Out of this by a long shot, but still Nishi looking. Yeah, definitely need to bring some adjustments and uh, yeah, to find his way in because yeah, this is not working too much for him right there. Here we go, just run up straight and grab. And Big's doing a jo good job of just backdashing out of pressure of Nishi. Here we go, Nishi going with the 2D again, going for the Nasante, but yeah, Bex has seen this one too many times. I think he might be starting to adapt. And here we go with the big counter hit on the Bandit Bringer. Uh, enable Bex to actually get a full combo off of Nishi. Here we go with the, again, the walk up, uh, walk up, no, the. Ooh, this is. I don't know if you should. Oh my lord! And here we go with Bex and the full punish, man. Oh, that was so unfortunate, and Bex just lets the DP rip and steals it, literally. Well played by Bex. That was the correct uh, outcome, and he saw that, like, I think Nishi would definitely wanted to have this win. He definitely... And he felt, like, the neediness of Nishi, and immediately know, knew that if he let a DP rip, he would have eventually hit something this time around. Nice awareness from Bex. Takes it, steals it, literally, by Nishi. Nishi definitely needs to find some sort of adjustment right now, or... This will eventually be the end of his tournament Man, life. Right. Well, during this tournament, that is. The Brojo Cup tournament life, and at least. Okay, and here we go with Nishi the Samurai looking definitely around. Pushes Bex in the corner, but the Bandit Bringer to secure an aerial approach directly onto Nishi. Makes wonders for Bex. Bex doing a good job of just staying right out of the the range of Nishi, but yeah, this time around Nishi finds his way on to Bex and pushes him ever so slightly. Here we go again, the, uh, I want to call it tick throw, a uh, slight throw probably, but yeah, just using the, uh, the, the standing HS, uh, actually it's not the standing HS, it's the standing, yeah, it is the standing HS, is it? But anyways, here we go with Nishi finding the correct kill combo and takes the first round of the third match, he definitely needs this one. He needs this one to reverse the momentum that is entirely in Bex's favor right now. Okay, Bex not afraid of just, just running straight and just using... Oh, and the grab, a little bit too late Bex was right there. Got grabbed by Nishi. Oh, and Nishi using, trying to use the slide uh, grab right there. This time around, Bex not biting. Big counter hit that would have probably spelled death is if uh, Bex didn't resort to um to uh to, uh, to burst it oh badly timed fully charged dust right there and dust right there by nishi and bex ever so slightly just pushing his way towards nishi but no punish on the bended brain unfortunately for him and bex on point with his flip kick punish man definitely doesn't want to go through yeah it's very nice i think i really think nishi needed this one and good thing for him he was able to well actually successfully get you know, get it so this time around Bex is going to be forced to a fourth match in which potentially if he loses uh, we'll have uh, both opponents see their scores be uh, exactly the same and I probably that Bex doesn't want to, um, to to extend this encounter because yeah that might uh, make it so that uh, Nishi adapts and that might prove even more arduous for him to uh, to uh, to secure the deal, basically. Oh, okay, here we go, start of the round, the 2D counter hit by Nishi, found the conversion. Oh my lord, the reflex on this man. Immediately sees that Bex is, uh, Bex's 
Bandit Bringer is going to whiff, so just just uh, dashes and grab him out of his recovery frame. Very nicely done. Here we go, the Bandit again by Bex, man. Here we go, Bex has Mishi exactly where he wants him to be. And oh, the badly timed Bandit Bringer here. That was so unfortunate for Bex. It's not going to be enough to kill, though. He gets the wall rate though, the positive bonus, but not. Oh, no! Badly time grab right there. Oh my lord, and the Nasante on the uh, second hit of the Bandit Revolver. Very nicely done by Nishi. Definitely looking a lot more alive than the two previous matches uh, that he had against Vex. You go with the sliding uh, 5HS, I believe it is. You go forces, finally forces the burst of Nishi. Very nicely done. And the, again, the. Uh, jump the, the uh, dash grab. Yeah, Bex, Bex mistiming again his uh, his uh, oh, and the bad lead time, the mistime probably DP. This is unfortunate. Oh, and Bex really not feeling himself a lot when it comes to just letting the DP rip and just like this. Nishi brings it back to the two. Very nicely done by him. Here we go. Let's see if uh, Bix is going to find some sort of adjustment or not. Because, yeah, right now it's all in Nishi's favor. Everything seems so good for... Um, yeah, everything seems so good for uh, for Bex. But Nishi, I don't know, he just implemented some changes in his way of playing. and. Everything looks and seems to go in his way right now, so yeah, definitely good adjustments were definitely made. Very nicely done. There we go again with the slight throw from Nishi. Has been working, has been making wonders for him. Oh, and again the 2D uh, counter hit. This did a lot of damage. But yeah, Big's definitely now out of it. There we go, finds the opening. You do a lot of damage, and Nishi just holding on to his burst. Might be it that uh, Nishi was afraid that uh, Bix was about to uh, bait it, and just like this, Bix takes it, man. Very convincing, um, very convincing performance by him. Let's see if Nishi can answer in due fashion. Very nice backdash by Bex. Oh my lord, and the knowledge of this man, knowing that Nishi was about to backdash and uh, just yeah run right after him, and just managed to apply the pressure some more. Here we go, Bandit Revolver to go over Nishi and switch places with him. Oh, and get out of the corner also a little bit too far to get any sort of conversion of the uh, far S, but just like this, Nishi manages to do a long freaking combo into the overdrive and is on the verge of taking it. The quick dust for the win of this round, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going down to the wire this is the final match and the final round of the final match of this encounter the one the person the player who takes it goes to the losers final here we go oh the bandit bringer missed time bandit bringer well or just very nice uh, understanding of nishi to go under the bandit bringer and punish him on the other way by doing so he not only well gets a punish but also a side switch and puts bex in the corner but unfortunately for nishi bex managed to get out of the corner as soon as I finish my explanation, here we go with Nishi not trying to bait the burst, and that was actually very good because Bex was aware of it and held on to his burst. Here we go, Ooh, and Bex going for the wild throw and the 6P, and this is gonna do, that was a sick ending. A sick ending by Bex, takes it. Oh, my wonderful voice. Here we go, this is the loser's final, it's going to be Atemu versus Bex, both Japanese players, both very powerful characters with a uh, tendency to overwhelm their opponents. Here we go, and Bex with, this is full on Bex right there, <laughs> Bex alternating between uh, frame traps, uh, between grabs, between Roman cancel, up, down mixes, and my lord, how did the Beyblade manage to counter it? A DP, I do not know, but it actually happened. <laughs> And here we go with Atemu with the wall break. He seemed pretty helpless at the beginning of the round, but just like this. Oh, very nice recognition of Bex that Atemu is going to press buttons uh, during his Roman cancel. 
punish using the DP. Oh, that was a close. Oh my lord, did you see this? Crazy DP followed by a clash wall by the 6 HS by Bex. That was a crazy uh, trade right there, if I might say. A clash, not really a trade. And here we go, the Bandit Bringer to delay his uh, way down and helped him punish the punish attempt. <laughs> Oh my lord, here we go, the 6 HS on the fall of the DP that did a huge amount of damage. Two hits, half your life gone. Very nice patient from Atim right there. Oh, and he went for the air to air, unfortunately for him. Bex. Oh, okay. The cheeky vortex right there, but no resources to make it safe, unfortunately for him. And Atim uses his opportunity to seal the deal. The second round of this match. Okay, here we go. This is gonna make his blood gauge. Yeah. Oh, again, man. Bex has been so on point with it. The clash on the DP followed by the immediate 6 HS. Something that I haven't quite seen uh, other uh, Soul players do, but that is crazy good. Here we go. Bex, extremely violent, man. Very aggressive player, as you can see. There we go with Atemu trying to make his way and push Bex to the corner. He did bait DDP, but unfortunately for him, Bex had the necessary resource to make it safe. And yet again, you could see Bex use... Oh my lord, saved by the Bloodburst, by the way. Oh my lord, just run into these uh, 6 inches. Really well done by six, uh, by Bex. Takes the first round of this, um, this encounter. Very well done. Let's see how this continues, how this unfolds. This is very a very explosive uh, match we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see how it goes. Okie dokie. So, let's see if Atemo is going to bring the necessary adjustments in order to possibly bring it back. Hopefully for him he will. Big start of the round with a DP counter hit from Atemu that hurt a lot. Forces the burst by Bex. Oh, here we go. This time around, Atemu not, um, not taking the bait. Waiting for uh, the bended Rigor before punishing. Big Tyrant Rave right there from Bex. Yeah, from Bex. And the wall throw for the win. Really well played. Okay, here we go. Very nicely done by Bex. Good stuff. And just like this, Atemu takes the second round. Let's hope for him that this trend continues. And very nicely done right there by Atemu. Gets the corner carry into the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. Oh, but it's not without Bex. Oh, and his optimized combo just answering in fashion, in adequate fashion and gets a wall break of his own. He's gonna get the positive bonus. But yeah, Atemu definitely has uh, has threatening like tools right there since he had both bars of tension. But yeah, the patience of Bex actually awarded him with the second match right there. Very nicely done. Thank you very much for the follow SSJ Kristoff and welcome to the bro Joes. Really appreciate it, man. Very nicely done. We are going on to the third match. Hopefully for Atem, he's going to find uh, some sort of adjustment. If not, he will be sent out of this tournament. This is something we do not want to see. That I personally would not want to see, but Bex has been extremely good. Well playing, especially like ever since he's been set to the Losers Final. He's been like playing like a different, a, a completely different game. has been working a lot for him. Here we go. They're both opponent trading. Counter hits for counter hits and Bex not afraid of waking up with the DP. Here we go with the close ace, the close S from Atemu catching Bex out of the air into a wall carry, uh, wall break uh, combo. Very well played. Again, man, this has been working so good for Bex. Like just the clash on the DP and the follow up with the 6 HS. Something I've never quite seen, but then again, I don't play either character, so it's probably a. Um, 
It's probably a um, exchange that is common, but uh, it's something I've never seen before. Here we go. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my lord. That RC was crazy. That RC exchange. That RC exchange was so crazy. This is so high. Very nice. Uh, very nice reaction from both players. They want to get slowed down by RC. And yeah, that was crazy. Really well played. Here we go with the bad dash by Atten and not getting hit by the close test by Elfix. Very well played. And Bex, man, not afraid of pressing. Uh, pressing. Oh, and the adequate punish on the blood burst right there. This is not gonna kill, but it's definitely gonna be close to it. Oh! Oh no! Oh my lord! The recognition of Bex to use the RC, slow down time, see what button you press. If you press a button, you eat a DP. That is the best way to play salt <laughs> oh nope no bandit bringer for you sir <laughs> no bandit bringer can save you from my close a s sir <laughs> no none and here we go with uh Atimu. having bex right in the corner right where he wants him to be very nice recognition very nice lows by Atimu. oh and the six p counter this is going to do a lot of damage is this going to be the 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 saving the saving match of Atemu the uh, how do you call it? Is it is this going to be the momentum shifting? Uh, but yeah, it's not without. No, this is unfortunate for no. Yeah, this is definitely what you don't want to do. But very nice. Done. I'm actually happy that Atenu managed to take it. Is this going to be the redemption arc of Atenu? Is he going to be able to bring it back? I really hope it's it will be the case. We will see. Hopefully it will be the case. My god, the matches that I have been crazy good and it's really great to see that so many countries now participate to the Brojo Cup. We have what today? What do we have? We have Indonesia, we have Singapore, we have Taiwan, we have uh, Drip, of course Japan, we have UK, we have lots of plenty different countries. It's great. And Philippines as well. It's just so crazy. I'm so happy to be uh, able to be part of this. Uh, this uh, yeah, this I want to say experiment. It's not so much an experiment as it is a, a social event. Seriously, I'm really, really glad that uh, the netcode of this uh, game, for the most part, enables us to uh, hold events such as this. That being said, here we go with Atemu, saved by the blood burst. Actually, not quite. <laughs> but still, okay. Well. Oh, and forces the burst. My lord, the knowledge of this man. Okay. Oh, oh, and the the baited got baited. <laughs> you wanted to bait my burst? Well, I baited yours. Very nicely done, Batemu. Okay, Batemu making his way ever so slowly for to a comeback. Man, this is really looking very, very good for him. Oh, and the, did you see this? He definitely wanted to bait the DP. Are you recognizing that Bex is probably reacting to the Fukios? And this is the, oh, and again, man. Again, this is probably the 6th or 7th time that Bex has been doing this. DP immediately into the 6 HS. Here we go, the Vol Volcanic Viper. What is going to be next? And here we go, Atemu. Ooh, immediately uses the Overdrive to prevent any sort of reactionary... Uh, but uh, anyways, Bex didn't have any burst, so he was, uh, he was guaranteed to get killed. Very nice stuff by Atemu. Brings it back to the 2. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. This match is so freaking violent. It's crazy. Here we go. Really looking forward to what is going to unfold later on. This is crazy. The, this is the final match of this encounter, guys. And the person who takes it will move on to the um, Grand Finals, actually. Am I, yep, we'll be moving on to the Grand Finals against Tim. This is crazy. Really looking forward to it. Okay, on to the final match of this encounter. Here we go, Atim pressing and pushing Bex ever so slightly in the corner. Here we go, Bex getting out of the corner with a cross up. Fortunately for Atemu, he was able to block it. Okay, Bex used, forced to use the burst in order not to be sent to the uh, corner. That would have been huge damage, by the way. Here we go, the bandit bringer, not quite at safe distance. Actually, it was safe distance, but uh, it was Atemu's turn and he didn't let Bex try to steal it. Here we go, the tech on the grab. Both characters having a. Oh, again. You can see that Atemu is recognizing that uh, Bex is probably aiming to have a clash on the 5 the 5HS and immediately using the. Um, uh, uh, Cancelling his 5HS into a Beyblade to go over 
the six HS of the decks. Yeah, it's been working very good for him. Very nice bag, that shit to the grab. And just like this, Atemi takes the lead. This is match point. Is Dex going to find an emergency adjustment or is Atemi going to take it? We shall see. There we go, Bex going for the lows. Bandit, oh my lord, and too far to punish and saved by the 5k, by the way. There we go, Bandit break. Oh, this is gonna be huge, a big counter hit. Okay, Atemi definitely needs to make it count. He burned his burst for this. He actually needs to... Oh my lord! Oh, and this time around, saved by the burst. The blood burst, that is. Okay, there we go. Don't get hit. Don't get hit by... Yeah, you don't want to get hit by the super of, of my lord. And here we go, my lord. Uh... Yeah, just take it. Just take it. Oh, my lord. That was perfectly made by Bex. And here we go on to the final round of the final match, guys. This is crazy. Here we go, the big counter hit by Bex. He takes the lead health-wise. He also has a burst, but unfortunately for him, this burst got badly, yeah, badly, um, badly positioned. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a big a full punish on the burst. Oh, okay. Well, why not? Why not? Okay, here we go. How is this going to unfold? Ah, oh, no! No, not like this! Ah! Oh, this is crazy, man! This is going down to the wire, both opponents don't have any health left. Oh, back to the neutral, man. Oh! Dear, 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 dear! No! When this... Why RC was made and just like this... Big stick! Grand final. I forgot to add some couple of... Uh, of... Uh, of details here we go tim in the winners and bex in the losers bex needs to win two sets in a row in order to take this tournament let's see if he's capable of doing so and here we go with bex and the overwhelming pressure but yeah timko doing a good job of weathering the storm and yet again the 2d man the 2d we got the bandit Revolver and Bex, yeah, definitely smelling blood, man. Very nicely done by him. Takes the first mat, no, the first round actually. Oh, and the 2S counter hit for the start of this round. Here we go, two fucking in a row, really trying to bait something out. Okay, here we go with Timko and the conversion, really well played. Okay, Timko trying to push his opponent ever so slightly in the corner. And here we go with Bex going for the extension. Unfortunately, he drops it at the absolute last. He didn't have the tension bar to extend, unfortunately for him. Okay, here we go with Tim going with the save jumps right there. He's gonna get the wall breaking combo. Oh, and he didn't go with the tension, but that's perfectly fair. Oh, did he catch the backdash? He did! He caught the backdash. Emergency overdrive right there from. Timko actually works in his favor, really well done. No, oh, and the trade on, um, I don't even know which, um, which hit uh, traded right there. And here we go, the Bandit Bringer with Punish right there. Really well done, oh my lord, and the backdash on the 5k of Bex right there. That was really, really well played. This is gonna be a wall break. And here we go with Timko with the current lead. It looks so well in Bex's favor at the start, but it's not... Ah, oh my lord, and oh my lord, Bex forcing the, the, the burst and just dash grab for the win. And just like this, Tim puts one on the board. Is Bex going to be able to find the necessary adjustment or is Tim going to just take it? Just steal it. He's been so constant, so, so good. His, like seriously, his performance has been so good ever since the start of this tournament. I'm really looking forward to uh to see what is uh, next, we shall see. Okay, and just like this, we are moving on to the uh, second match of this encounter. Let's see. <clears throat> Here we go with the Bandit Bringer. Just want to 
looking through. Here we go with Tenko taking the first round of this second uh, of this second match. Yeah, Tenko they're looking extremely strong, man. He has been so constant in his results during this tournament that I don't see anybody else like beating him. But just as I say, this Bex does a huge and responds with a perfect. That was perfect. No pun intended. Really well played by Bex. Let's see how this continues. Hmm. Here we go with the... Oh, and the big counter hit right there from Bex. And Tinko answering with a counter hit of his own. And my lord Bex on point when it came to punishing the uh, the cannon drill right there. Really well played by Bex. He gets the wall break. He's going to get a positive bonus. Unfortunately for him, his 2S went under the cannon drill. Oh, and Bex not afraid of pressing buttons right there. Oh my lord, and wake up Nasante, man. And just like this, Bex actually puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this unfolds. My lord, it's so violent. Okay, so yeah, both. Oh my lord, Bex definitely finding the the means to to adapt and to bring the heat, man. It's so crazy. This dude has a crazy like. Adaptability uh, potential. He's been doing so good, man. Here we go, on to the third match. Well, here we go with Bex trying to make his way ever so slightly close to Timko. Here we go, the big 2S counter hit into Revolver into a big combo, but yeah, forced the burst of Timko, and Timko actually answered in, um, in a similar fashion. Here we go with Tinko and the, the 2D counter hit, you got a full combo off of it. Oh my lord, and standing, uh, I believe this is standing S. No, it's not standing S, standing HS, I guess. Here we go with Tinko again, finding the opening, man. This, this move has been working so good for him. Here we go with the flip kick. Oh my lord, and the close S for counter, uh, for entire right there, and counter hit very nicely done by Bex. Okay, here we go, he's going for the Roman cancel extension, he's gonna get a wall break, or not, actually. Here we go with Tinko and the flip kick, actually. Almost managed to entire his uh, opponent. Oh, here we go, the 2S counter hit confirmed, very well played. And just like this, he's gonna get the... Ah, uh, yeah, th this was a checkmate situation. Yeah, if uh, Bex had bursted right there, he would have bursted uh, above um, Giovanna and effectively whiffing. And then, then he would have died either way. Yeah, this was a checkmate situation. Very well played by Timko. Uh, well, yeah, by Tim. Uh, he's on the verge of taking this uh, tournament, actually. Very, very well played by him. Extremely strong player, man. Yeah, Tim, I always knew he had it in him. So, we'll see, we'll see. It's still not over, though, since uh, Bex is definitely not a... Um, an opponent you uh anyway, you cannot count him out definitely you cannot it's just impossible let's see how this plays out and then here we go with the start of the round bix already with tim in the corner buff nearing him to death <laughs> okay, here we go first finally forces the burst and yeah the raw uh kendra has been working a lot for timko who uh actually uses this move to go over the 2s attempts of bix to uh punish the um the, 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 uh, the dash in of, of Timko. Here we go with the wild throw for the win. Bex definitely not signing out just yet. He definitely wants this. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Here we go to far S. Far S, far S. Oh my lord. Okay, so this tactic he has been using so often, Bex has been. And yeah, he's been using it so efficiently. Like, wake up DP, the DP clashes, and he immediately resorts to using the 6 HS. And this should do actually, and he answers in 
with such a big statement here we go with bex and the perfect man on the verge of resetting the bracket ladies and gentlemen will we be seeing a bracket reset we haven't seen one in a long time so yeah that, that would be definitely hype if you ask me so let's see how it unfolds yeah so bex on the verge of resetting the bracket will tenko prevent this or shall we eventually see a bracket reset we shall see in a couple of Instant, if you can actually uh, count instant, which is probably not the case, it's not quantifiable. But that being said, we are not here for English lessons. And here we go with Timco and the cannon drill right at the start of the match. He definitely does not want to go through a bracket reset right now. Okay, here we go. The bend the bringer hits Timco out of the air, so makes it effectively plus on block. And here we go with Timco with the adequate punish right there. Here we go with my Lord Vex, not afraid to let the DP rip, man, it's so crazy. And here we go with Timco and the grab and the save jump, and this should do. The confirms on this man, and just like this, we are on tournament point. Will Bex be able to make the comeback? Will he be able to extend the duration of this tournament? Tournament, we shall see. And here we go with Bex. And here we go, Bex, on the verge of taking this round as well. Rave, and this is gonna kill my lord. Did you see the, the oh my lord, the outstanding damage that Bex just had right there? Really well played. Here we go with Timko and these five HS. Uh, oh, it might actually just be uh, standing K. I'm sorry, I've been seeing a uh, HS, but it's not the K. I think it's just standing K. The sliding syndicate, oh my lord, Bex just recognizing that Timko is just back that should one too many times. Very nice dash into grab by Timko right there. Very nicely played. He goes for the quick dust. He tried to beat a burst this time around. But Bex not biting. Staying composed as much as possible. Oh, and just like this, Timko takes it. And we have your Brojo Cup.